No, no. 
the arrival. I came in the league, went straight for the title. No time to idle. I'm finna get it, put that on a Bible. This is survival. Gotta treat every movement like the final. One by a mile. Nobody believe it, they all in denial. Hey, look at me, look at me. Look at me. Still in the show, that's the crook in me. They want me gone with the hook in me. Asking why is he here like I shouldn't be. I've been on grind since I do 10,000 hours the motto. They see the bag is coming out and flocking to me like I won the lotto. Dancing with the devil, there's no recital. I'm killing competition, ain't no revival. I shoot it to kill it, I'm aiming for vitals. I'm showing no mercy when facing my rivals. Snakes in the crash, they're getting exposed. I know they be lurking, I'm watching them close. Acting like friends, but really they foes. Saw they be scheming and said adios. Back with a vengeance, back on the grinds, back to the business. Hey, God is my witness, they watching my moves like shows they binging. Hey, best keep distance, all of my haters and best of wishes. I get to the bag with the quickness, no, I don't need no assistance. No. Yeah, no playing it safe. I said, let's get it, you say not today. What can I say? You ain't gonna go for it, get out the way. Yeah, got no time to waste. Can't be with me if you're not at my pace. You're not at my level, you're not in my race. One foot on the gas, I'm yeah. pushing the yeah. pace. Dancing with the devil, there's no recital. I'm killing competition, ain't no revival. I shoot it to kill it, I'm aiming for vitals. I'm showing no mercy when facing my rivals. Snakes in the grass, they're getting exposed. I know they be lurking, I'm watching them close. Acting like friends, but really they foes. Saw they be scheming and said adios. Get it on my set. No contest. No way. You ain't in discussion. 
not even a prospect. Yeah, you better go and get to meditate. Yeah, we coming for you, no hesitation. Might as well call the league up. Tell them put the trophy on reservation. Been going up, that's elevation. No holding back, no preservation. Treat off season like postseason. No days off, this dedication. Don't expect us to play nice We got plans to take over a good home One thing you should know is how to Yeah You better go and start meditating Yeah, we coming for you, no hesitation Look Yeah No holding back, no preservation No off days, this dedication Time. Get out the way, we coming through Check the hang time Been on top, ain't nothing new A lot of time, whole lot of noise But ain't cutting through Run on roll, you got a couple L's You'll have another soon, don't sweat Whole lot of sacrifice, no regrets Whole lot of doves, but ain't done yet Say you the one, but ain't one yet Running the game, ain't take one step Hold up Yeah, all emotions aside There's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide How you gonna play when it came on the line? Don't expect us to play nice We got plans to take over a good home One thing you should know is how to Yeah You better go and start meditating Yeah, we coming for you, no hesitation Look Shame, had to put the work in, grind day by day. All the blood, sweat, tears, no pain, no gain. I was ready for the moment and it came my way. What a spotlight shot where they say my name. It's the life I chose, the price I paid. A lot of sacrifices every day I pray. Hope it all pays off in the end. I'll play, I wanna win. Seen a lot of things, ain't been the same since. Work too hard for this, yeah, I'm convinced. Been on the brink, yeah, been on the fence. Now I'm this close to the win, win, win. When the chance came, now I didn't turn back. Lord to the city, put the team on the map. Put up to the floor, start running up stats. Yeah, that's facts. Tripping on me, stop dissing on me. I got a dream, can't take it from me. My fire's burning, now I'm always learning. Tell me where to go, man. I'm on a journey, I can't explain it. I get excited, keep a 300, King Leonidas. Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride. Working on me every single day and night. There comes a time when your worlds will collide. If it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time. Yeah. I work too hard to get here Ain't got no time for no fear I work too hard to get here I don't got the time, put me in, coach I've been going hard, time to let it show Everything raw, give it to me now Let me have a spot, man, it's going down Gotta get it here, I don't wanna wait Take what I want, then I go train Gotta get a win, I won't lose the game This is my year, I ain't gonna break Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride Working on me every single day and night There comes a time when your worlds will collide If it's holding you back, push it right to the side On another level, I will never settle Mind over matter, get the gold medal On another level, I will never settle Mind over matter, get the gold medal Ain't got no time for no fear I want to I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal on another level. I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal on another level. I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal on another level. I will never settle, mind over matter, get the gold medal.
my game and baby. Yeah. It is Tuesday night. You already know what that means. We may have taken a week break from regulation play, but tonight is going to be a battle to figure out which team is going to be able to be the number one ranked team here at NFL Tuesday Night Gaming. Keep in mind, this is the one place where you're going to get to mash up a bunch of NFL legends with your favorite content creators in gaming. Put them on a squad of three, have them go head to head. And tonight, for the first time Ever, Aaron? There's no Rocket League. No Rocket League. No Rocket League. Oh. We usually start off by talking about Rocket League, and that's going to change the entire dynamic because, folks, usually when we look at the games that we're actually going to see, you have Rocket League, which tends to be the game that's a little bit more team focused, and then maybe you have something like Fortnite or Fall Guys, which are a little bit more focused on one player taking over the game. Tonight, it's just Fall Guys and Fortnite. I mean, we'll see how much that's going to change the competition. Everyone was preparing for Rocket League. We've seen people saying that they were practicing it, training in it, just so they, they could win it. But now, they're not going to be ready for that. Yeah, but the thing is, with that, one player might be able to clutch up and oh, let, yeah. let you get a win for a game. I think that's something that we're going to have to start to figure out which team's going to be able to do it. We'll be looking at those teams in just a second. But first, let's take a look at what they're playing for. We keep talking about points, but let's talk about the six teams which are going to be taking the stage. We got four of them today to go head to head. And we're going to be looking at the orgs that make up those teams. But let's start to talk about the playoffs as everybody gets acquainted with the faces because we are at week seven now and we're starting an inch closer and closer to the playoffs and the rain is currently sitting on top of the leaderboard yes they are leading as you can see these are the teams that compete in all of nfl tuesday night gaming and as rich mentioned with the playoffs for every game victory it is one point now as you can see four teams will go on into the playoffs and obviously we'll narrow it down to the championship and finally the crowned winner for NFL Tuesday Night Gaming. Yeah, and it, you know, like you mentioned, it's every point is a game. So you don't need to like win the whole series. Yes. You can split, you can grab a point. And that's gonna be particularly interesting tonight because the top three teams are the teams that I want you to keep your eye on. I'm not gonna give any spoilers to the schedule <laughs> just yet before we get a chance to look at the team. But those top three teams, their order could change tonight. It, it could completely get rearranged. Exit could drop to third or first. The rain could drop down from first and OTK could slot in in either of those positions as well. And as you can see, the numbers one through four are highlighted yellow on the screen. Those are currently the teams. If we ended the whole thing today, we, we're about halfway through. If we ended everything to date, those are the teams that are going through to the playoffs. So this is all about seeing which team is gonna be able to galvanize their spot. I mean, we saw at the bottom, you got several teams that have have two points or only three points and they're gonna have to win a lot in order to boost themselves up in the standings because right now you, we have what the rain exit OTK for the past several Tuesdays they've been very consistent at staying at the top three spot it hasn't really changed that much up at top it's more so the bottom that's changed more yeah we've seen you, you know the rain's been able to come out and you know every now and then take an entire series but I think OTK and exit have done a good job at never just outright get a donut they're usually at least splitting and we'll see if that holds true here again today uh we'll, we'll look at that schedule in just a second i do want to say that when you're talking about teams like luminosity like complexity that have been closer to the bottom those teams have started to heat up we've seen an impressive performance i, I want to say with lg in particular and starting to see them claw back in and with with how the points actually work any upset yeah any time that you're even able to split a team, that's going to allow other teams to pull further ahead. Yeah, and with that, we got to check out the Hulu play of the game to see how teams have performed previously. Hey. 
it's been a little while since we got to check in on the Hulu play of the game. Just a reminder for anybody who maybe hasn't been keeping track. I know for me, time just flows on its own. I don't really, uh, I think it's November now. I have absolutely no idea. But last week, it was it was family week, so it hung out, completely different show. Definitely watch this as well, a lot of fun. But this Hulu play of the game is actually going to be from not last Tuesday, the Tuesday before from our NFL Tuesday Night Gaming. And also, you know, we might get a peek at Rocket League. Ah, oh, that's oh, what I wanted. there we go. That's what I wanted. And one of the reasons I wanted this is just get one last nice, ah, refreshing ah. breath of Rocket League because we're not going to see it here today. And I feel like this has been the game of, like, Aaron, we usually sit here, talk about Rocket League and how much it's going to change the entire course of the day. Yes. And that's not going to be the case today. Well, we also, for this Hulu play of the game, we also got to talk about this match specifically with TP and Symphony as the creators for the teams. And we saw that they really utilize all various different mechanics of Rocket League. Previously in the competition, some people were trying to get adjusted to Rocket League, so they were saying more on the ground. We were seeing a lot more aerodynamic, more different callouts, positionings. You could tell, like, everyone who was playing in that match was very comfortable and familiar with the game. Yeah, it, both both Teep and Symphony, both of them had a lot of hours in Rocket League, which I didn't even realize until we started talking to them more. And uh, it, it's funny, it's like one of those things that, it, it's, it was crazy how many hours they had because I, I know both of them personally. And it was yeah. just like came out of nowhere. And TP was actually telling me back when we were like sitting on the Call of Duty desk together and working together, that was the game he was playing. You oh, know? wow. Yeah, you're watching Call of Duty all day. You go home, you don't always play Call of Duty, right? Wow. So he, he was going home, he was playing a lot of Rocket League and he had a bunch of hours there. So it was great to see them go head to head. And Rocket League has provided for a lot of awesome moments. But now I think Fall Guys has slowly become my favorite <laughs> moment of the day. And now getting to go back to Fortnite, I'm excited to see what, what's actually gonna happen. Yeah, with Fall Guys, we've seen where literally it'll be 1v2, 1v3 situation situation and that one person who's a standalone for their team wins it all for them and so you know now we are going to see Fall Guys being that determining game for teams and maybe if they're not strong suited in a Fortnite or building or FPS's at least they can lean heavily more on that title. Well you mentioned the games that we're playing we talked about them quite a bit let's take our first look I'm excited for this at the teams that are going to be playing them. Now, as we look at our match card, I told you to pay attention to where everybody was for the playoffs. You're gonna see why. We got OTK kicking it off. Tectones back in the house yet again. And he is going to need to be on his A game because they are playing against none other than the rain. And the rain right now has six points. OTK has four. If OTK is able to take them both down, there's a tie for first place, depending on how our next matchup actually goes. Because our next matchup, if we're gonna see it right now, yes, we yes, are. Yes. No. It is Xset, and Xset is going to be playing against Complexity. So depending yes. on how this goes, it is the battle for first place tonight. It is, and also this is the first time that I believe we're seeing a team that is completely and solely made of NFL players with Xset. Yep. Marco Wilson is a big gamer, very stylish, but uh, we're gonna see how well that dynamic does. And then of course with Complexity, we have Hunter over there, one of the best Halo players for over seven years. Now, hopefully, Complexity is going to lean a little bit more into him because clearly he's good with FPSs, and that can translate over into Fortnite. And then lastly, we haven't talked about this. This is probably one of the most exciting part of NFL Tuesday Night Gaming is the Madden Showdown. Now, for those who are tuning in, the Madden Showdown does not count as official points. It's simply fun and for bragging rights. But this time, we're switching it up just a, just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. It's going to get exciting. I mean, you're not going to see me beat Guy again. However, you will see some exciting competition. <laughs> I, am, I am looking forward to it. Every single time getting to watch Madden has been just my favorite part of the show. Seriously. Yeah. It, it's one of the those moments where you really get to see like yes it's great to, to get super serious about the competition trying to figure out who's going to get to the playoffs but the reason why Tuesday Night Gaming is so great is actually getting to see people that usually wouldn't have an opportunity to meet each other, bonding over games and, you know, creating new friendships. And I think Madden at times does create rivalries and there's a little bit of smack talk, sometimes against all kickers, sometimes against all casters. You never know what's gonna happen, but you, yeah. you do get to actually hear the conversations and you feel like you're here in the studio with us. And that's why I love that Madden Show match. Yeah, and also with the Madden Showdown, you're able to see how they apply their positions, their NFL IQ over into 
into the mm. game themselves. Depending on what position they play, you can see how that is, how they utilize that in the competition itself. Now, not only is NFL IQ important, but be competitive at Spirit is. And looking at the first series, we talked about last time how Tech Toad is like very intense and very, like, it's very active in communication. He's, uh, yeah, he never stops communicating at a very <laughs> intense volume. He's, Tectone is one of my best friends. I spend more time with Tectone than I do with my own family. At this point, he is my own family. Uh, Tectone, I am expecting him to be terrible at Fortnite. Wow. Now, now here's the thing. He messages people all the time. Like, literally anybody who knows Tectone, Tectone will message them at like 4 a.m. and be like, yo, dude, dude, you wanna play Fortnite, dude? Oh, let's play Fortnite, dude. I don't think anybody ever plays Fortnite with him, though. <laughs> so I don't think he has any right. I, I think that he has spent more time asking people to play Fortnite than he's actually spent playing Fortnite. Uh, now, I will say, Tectone, overall, just good at games. You know, you can pick up a party game, and he tends to be really good at them. We'll, we'll see what actually happens. We got a lot riding on him tonight, because if he does take down both of these, getting tied for first place, depending on how that exit matchup goes. Yeah, I mean, taking down the rain is going to be the most crucial thing for OTK, like you're saying, to make it up into that number one spot. And it can't be a split even tie. Like, they got to knock them out in all of the games themselves. Well, think about it this way. Yes. If OTK completely wins, gets both points, and exit splits, splits the matchup, you have a three-way tie for first. Ooh. So we, we could have a three-way tie for first happen tonight. I, I mean, honestly, I feel like moving forward, I mean, unless something drastically happens, which can, I feel like that is going to be the consistent three teams at the top, unless we see some of the other teams pick up the slack, not only for today, but the following Tuesday and the Tuesday after that, because it's coming down to the wire at this point. It definitely is, and you've heard us talk about those players quite a bit. Let's hear what they had to say before we jump into our first series of the day. First favorite video game. I gotta go back to probably Call of Duty, the early ones. I don't know, Modern Warfare 2 was kind of one of my favorite ones growing up. Uh, I guess shooting game. And then I've always been a Madden fan growing up. NCAA football, those were kind of my three that I remember when I was younger. <laughs> I've always stunk at uh, Call of Duty, and I still do. I was just playing it earlier. I'm not very good still. I just play because my friends. I like to think I'm good at Madden, though. I got those, and then Fortnite I play. Um, I play with a couple guys on the team. One video game the rest of my life. I would, I would just have to play it safe and just play Madden, I think, for the rest of my life. I would have to say a Fortnite one. I think I, I tried to clip part of it. I think it was like a 1v3 at the end and I ended up winning a game in Fortnite and I thought I was, I thought I was a ninja. Fortnite. And more Fortnite, and more Fortnite. I mean, just off of that alone, uh, I'm hoping that Joe will be one of those crucial members for OTK when it comes to playing Fortnite today. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, that's a that's a good sign. I, I mean, hearing hearing that Joe has Fortnite experience, even being able to clutch up in, in a 1v3 situation and knowing that Tectone, all jokes aside, has played Fortnite, majority of your team is at least familiar with the game. So yeah. that, that could be a huge edge. And we'll, we'll find out more from Lorraine in, in a little bit as to what their experience actually is but I'm getting very excited for today because it, it really does change our standings quite a bit it really does I mean especially when we look at some of the games and tiles that people have brought up yes they brought up FPS which is like the consistent and uh, the genre that a lot of them play in terms of the NFL players but I have to say most never said Fortnite it was either Call of Duty or Apex or something like that and this is probably one of the first times we've heard someone say oh no I consistently play Fortnite yeah yeah I, I think the thing that we would hear with Fortnite you're 100% you're right. Most of the time, if anybody was like, they've like I've tried Fortnite. Yeah. I've dabbled. Yeah. I've, I've at least gotten bit. my toes in the Fortnite pond. But today, you're hearing somebody who their proudest gaming moment for Joe is going to be with Fortnite. But my proudest moment is always getting this series started. And to do that, wow. we're going to toss it on up to our casters. I'm giving you all I got. So sit back and join and watch. I'm a rebel with purpose. Yeah, I said it on purpose. Turn me up if you heard this. I said turn me up if you heard this. Get him up! I'm willing to do what they will not do. What they will not do. I'm willing to say what they 
Fantastic Tuesday afternoon, because Tuesday night gaming is back. I'm Blaze, joined with the fantastic Avali, as we're going to be your casters. And we have four awesome teams that's going to be competing today once again. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, but I wanted to shout out one person in the chat right now, uh, Thomas Casanova, who says, Rich looks like the guy who does the snake show at the zoo. I'm waiting for him to pull out the anaconda. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Your own point there, too, as well, okay? You know, especially when it comes down to his two-piece leopard get-up. I got to tell you this. You know, Rich has inspired me. I told him when the show started that, you know what? My next hosting gig, I got to wear shorts because no one wears shorts, okay? But you yeah. got to have the legs for the shorts. No, you know who wears shorts? Jake Lucky wears these cut-off, like, jean shorts, mm -hmm. and they are disgusting. Well, They're you know, so Jake, Jake can pull, pull them off, okay? They own his brand, but, you know... Jake is the Jake is like a vibe master with them shorts. He, it is a vibe. <laughs> it is completely a vibe. I don't know if we it's a vibe you, that I would ever want to like uh -huh. mess around with, but it's a vibe nonetheless. Yeah, for sure. Okay, you know you see him with those shorts, be ready to chug a beer. All right, but uh, you know when it comes down to our four teams today, we saw uh, we heard our hosts talk about the standings a little bit, and this week it means a lot, especially with OTK trying to get some more points and shoot themselves up in the top two as the player are quickly approaching um, you know when it comes down to it we've seen all of our teams play throughout our, our three big games of fall guys in Rocket League Madden and Fortnite um, but you know when we come down to those playoffs it's who's going to be the best out there after getting all these reps here throughout these weeks and so far the rain has just been looking unstoppable I mean, yes, the rain consistently picks up dubs mm -hmm. left and right, but you're forgetting that OTK is led by Tectone today. Ooh -wee. And we know Tectone, he got a lot to say, and he's trying to lead this team to victory. So without further ado, let's toss it down to Rich and get our intro started. Ooh, this is a big one. Today is going to be the battle of the best. We got the three top teams duking it out, and we're going to find out. When the dust does settle at the end of today, who is going to be in first place? I never thought I would say this, but OTK's fate rests in Tectone's hands. Let's make some noise for OTK. to say because all of OTK is counting on one man and it's Tectone. Tectone, are you ready to shoulder no, this burden? Are, are, are you going to be able to oh, put OTK in first place? about anything, dog? I, I hope you're worried about getting first place today. Have you been playing a lot of Fortnite? I remember back in the day, you used to randomly message everybody at 4 a.m. except for me asking them to play Fortnite. So are you on your A game? Uh, yeah, of course, man. The reason why I didn't message you to play Fortnite is you can't spend money to get good in that game. Also, no, the reason why I'm not nervous is because there's no chance that I'm going to lose. Every single time I've been on NFL Tuesday Night Gaming, I have performed. And if you think today will be different, well, sorry, buddy. You're sorely mistaken because what you're looking at is a six foot six man, 250 pounds of pure gaming energy, baby. Tonight, we're bringing on the W. As always, and my supporters, any OTK frogs out there, will not be disappointed because I am the number one guy, the top man of Twitch, the top man of YouTube, and the top man in OTK. Am I allowed to say that? Can I say that, Rich? Can I say that? Is that fine? Uh, you, you just breached contract, actually, so uh, you will be fine. Okay. Uh, which is totally fine. <laughs> 
yeah, I, man, it really, it really dawned on me just exactly where we are at in life during that speech. I am, uh, I am concerned for just about everything at this moment. Uh, I am also, speaking of contracts, I'm contractually obligated to tell you that we are not playing Genshin Impact today. Did you know that? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to let you know. I had to let you know. It said right here in the fine print, please alert Dectone that he can't play on, on Aruka-chan today. Uh, but so when we actually do get into the games, we already mentioned Fortnite Fall, guys. You haven't mentioned the fact that you've come out swinging quite a few times here at NFL Tuesday Night Gaming. Sure. I do feel like Fall, guys, you've been fantastic at. Have you been playing even more to, to get yep. all limber before you jump into the action? Uh, dude, Fortnite and Fall, Ga Fall Guys, I would honestly say are my two main games. Honestly, if I lose today, I will be shocked. Uh, I have more hours played uh, in that than uh, Steer has banging anyways. I'm not going to finish the rest of that joke, but yeah. Hey, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that you did games, it because you could have just lost both of us our jobs. Now, the other thing that I do want to say, Tectone, is recently your main game has been watching TikTok. So let's not act like you're you're the uh, the superstar at playing video games. You've literally watched puppies do dumb things. Now, I love you very much. I'm excited for you to touch base and try to take this down for OTK. Uh, go get ready, and we will talk to you soon, man. Now... Tectone is carrying all of the weight of OTK on his six foot six, 30 year old shoulders. I can't believe I'm saying that. How, how is this reality? Tectone, a 30 year old man <laughs> carrying our entire org. Now, I will say for Tectone, situations like this, this is what he's trained for. That man has watched more anime. He spent more time watching anime in his entire life than I have spent drinking water. So this is his, his training arc is in the rear view mirror. Right now, it's all about his victory arc, but we have to start paying attention to who OTK is going to be playing against because this team has held the reins of the entire tournament since essentially the very beginning. Folks, the team that is currently in first place, it's none other than the rain. All right, here we go. Now, we talked to Tectone. Let's talk to the reigning champs. All right, talk to me. Are you ready to play so, some Fall Guys? Ready to play some Fortnite? Are these games that you're used to playing? Do I join the, uh, the channel? I, if you can hear me, you're good to go. Can you hear me all right? Oh, hello? Oh, wait, are you there? Yeah, we're on the air. We're on the air. Oh, oh, okay. So this is working just like that. Oh, wow. You guys are running some magic back there. Hey, how's it going, dude? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I'm glad to be talking to you. Reigning champ currently. Your squad's got six points. And if you win both of these, nobody can catch up to you. So when we're looking at Fall Guys, when we're looking at Fortnite, how are you feeling? Oh, dude, I am so confident in this team. Uh, Nick and CJ, these guys are absolutely amazing players. These guys have experience in uh, first-person shooter games in the past. They've played shooter games. They've played these types of games. So uh, they they have, like, the basics now. So I'm very confident in this team. For me, personally, even though I may not specialize in these types of games, I'm kind of like a newbie in that front, I am a very well-adaptable uh, player. So I'm very confident in this team. That, that's a very important thing. Now, I, I, not, to, not to put pressure on you, but how it's all shaping sure. up right now. We have the top three teams. Your squad currently has six points. So if you win both of these, you're, okay. you're going to be able to get eight. Now, trailing behind you by one point, they can also get two points today, is going to be X set, and then OTK is two points behind. So if you drop all of them, Ooh. OTK can catch up and take first place. If you split, there is oh. still a chance for X set to catch up. So is that pressure something that might be getting to you during the matchup? Uh, well, I definitely would have preferred if you didn't told me that, but that doesn't really change much. As long as we perform, as long as we pull through, everything is going to be fine. So uh, we just need to make sure we get all those points and not leave them in the dust. 
I am currently wearing an OTK hat, so I do feel like I just sabotaged you. So I, I very much apologize. <laughs> I got you, man. I got but you. We'll see how it turns out. Hey, hey, it hey. It's all feel, good fun, right? <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, you're playing against Tech Tone. So I think that that will help yep. you quite a bit. That will help you quite a bit. Uh, now, I will say, take, take a few moments to get ready. We're going to get your series started, and the best of luck to you. And with that, we have our two squads all set up. OTK and the rain. After this one, we may have a new team in first place. We could have a, a two-way tie. By the end of the day, we could have a three-way tie. Let's see where we end up. We're jumping up to the casters and getting our first series started. Thank you so much, Rich, for the intros as we have our stage set. Tech Tone, six foot six, 250 pounds with OTK's weight on his shoulders going up against BTMC here in the rain. So far undefeated, but you know what? He feels cool, Kama Collected, and just the vibes that BT has been bringing out, he may have this one. Yeah, there are a lot of good vibes, but I don't know. I think Rich was correct in saying that it's a good thing that mm -hmm. we aren't playing Genshin Impact today yeah. because I feel like Tectone's lineup would be pretty stacked. I don't think anybody have anything to be able to counteract what he'll be cooking up today. All C6s, probably has just like all the full legendaries, all mm -hmm. the newest runs from the banner. I've only got Daddy DeLuke. I am lacking. Yeah, you are lacking, okay? You got to step your game mm -hmm. up, all right? Hell, get your hours in, Avali. Well, we'll see if those hours in Genshin Impact is going to translate on over towards Foc uh, Rocket, not for Rocket League, uh, for all guys in Fortnite, all right? Where Tectone says that this is my two main games that I've been playing the entire time, all right? He says that he's going to come out here and he ain't going to lose a single one. But we'll see what those skills are going to be. And I'm also excited to see what our Fortnite format is going to be for today as well, because we've seen some interesting ones in the past. And uh, I'm excited. What I want to see is just a competitive 3v3 slug out, okay? A firefight. Number headshots. I want to see. Body I do shots. agree. I do want to see shots hit. So I do agree. I do want to see a competitive game mm -hmm, because in mm -hmm. the past we've seen usually our one gamer go against the gamer on the other team, yeah. leaving our NFL players to just kind of like waft on the wayside, yeah. right? But we've also had moments where uh, in the middle of these Fortnite firefights, mm -hmm. we've had some of our NFL players do the shot calling as soon as they're eliminated. If they're knocked down, that's fine. They can Coming still have you no know, visibility and they're just calling out like, oh, behind you, behind you, watch your back, watch your back. And seeing that teamwork and kind of like the camaraderie immediately come out, I think it's great. And while, uh, you know, you could see everyone in their virtual face on the stages right now for Team OTK. There's Tectone, Joe, and Eric Kendricks. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see this squad really come together and see how they're going to play as a team. Agreed as well. You know, and I like the call out that you made when it comes down to just a small talk even after they die, right? Those comms on NFL field, you can bring them right in here into gaming as well. And so each one of our teams, we have a superstar gaming content creator um, on there. And today it's going to be Tectone for OTK, BTMC for the rain. And, you know, in a past, yeah, sometimes these big content creators, these big gamers will dominate it and the NFL players are out there supporting. But our NFL players are gamers. And we've seen a lot of great gamers on this show. And that's why I'm kind of heartbroken not to see Rocket League today because Rocket League today, because that's where they usually been um, excelling and kind of thriving in, right? So we'll see if they have up their Fall Guys gameplay as well as uh, their Fortnite accuracy as well. Yeah, I feel like Fortnite is going to be our decider for today Agreed. because with Fall Guys, it can really go either way. And again, as long as you have one person who knows what they're doing, mm -hmm. it could just become a 1v1 at the yep. end of the day. We've seen multiple people People pull off the 1v3 and Fall Guys before, mm -hmm. so anything can kind of happen with those jelly beans. But with Fortnite, mm -hmm. that's where things get a little bit different and a little bit more interesting. Well, and for those who are maybe not familiar with Fortnite, of us talking about it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the intricacies of the game. Coming at me is a bad move. If I have to, I'm a pop -up. Fortnite is a free-to-play battle royale shooter game developed and published by Epic Games. Players gather in squads of three and try their best in a match of 15 minutes duration. Skydive to the map and be the first one to pick the best weapon for offensive or defensive strategy. And don't forget that camping is a strategy too. Each minute, players will have to adjust their positions to the safe zone. 
the player who won't be able to get to the safe zone in time will be eliminated. The main objective is to eliminate every enemy and to be the last man standing. That's the way it is. That's all I know. Pull up. Can you be the smoke? Be the last man standing or the last team standing if you get a team wipe out there. And those, that's the type of teamwork in which we want to see out there today. It's been a while since we've had Fortnite on the show, so it's going to be a return and a good one at that. As we get all of our players loaded up into this lobby, it's a battle between OTK and the rain here today on Tuesday Night Football. Yes. Now Something I want to point out from okay. that explainer video is, yes, camping may be a tactic, but only weak players utilize Weaklings. it. Okay. Only the weak. Don't Get out there, run out there, guns a-blazing, oh. plunger gun a-swinging. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang. Take someone down. Don't be out here, you know, flaunting your camping on the gram, on TikTok. I don't want to see your camping clips, okay? I don't want to see you in the bush popping out there for a quad. Actually, if you pop out for a quad, it may be interesting because it's a quad. But nonetheless, okay, that can't be your main gameplay out there. You got to shoot first. It's all about shooting. If you want to be a champion, you got to take the first shot. NFL gaming it don't matter okay if you want to feel sometimes you got to take a shot down feel you got to go for it you got to go for the touchdown miss 100 percent of shots you don't take wayne gresky michael scott whatever you use someone great said it someone great said it. and i feel like that's what's important at the Not, end of the day michael scott may have been the greatest but no disrespect on wayne gretzky now <laughs> <laughs> let's talk you about know, the potential I went, to, I went to my first hockey game this past week you know it was fun how what happened huh it went did, to ot did someone fight it went to ot and don't I they saw usually about four fight? fights yeah i saw about four fights and they went to ot oh man it, it's so much louder and so much faster when you see it in person versus tv mm -hmm. is it like scarier or you know what it is i you know imagine like a sports anime and how epic it is. Okay. I kind of felt that way from watching it so much on TV and then coming over and seeing it in person. It was like, all right, you know, I saw him, you know, skating, hitting the pucks and everything, but every play became that much more epic when I saw it in person. Do we have a football sports anime yet? I feel like there's Yo, one. There I've was one thinking, on Netflix. I've been, I've, it's not one. It's not a single football sports anime. And I'm one. actually disgusted. There's Blue Lock it's, for soccer. There's Haikyuu for volleyball. There's Kuroko like, no Basket for basketball. Ayoshi for soccer. Um, it's also Kurosako for basketball. We also got King of Diamonds, I want to say, for Prince of base, Tennis. Prince, Prince of Tennis. Um, Fury on Ice, that's a sports a anime. Fury. King of Diamonds is baseball. That is a sports anime. Mm -hmm. Those last two that I said are definitely sports anime. <laughs> <laughs> All it was, I think, was a sports anime, but we don't have a football one. If you had to come up with a football anime name chat, what would it be? Oh, my God. Wait, no, we kind of do have. Do have? Okay, okay. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1 with Jonathan Joestar. They play rugby. That's close. That's a tab. That is kind of close. That's close. That's close. That's as, that's as close as we're ever going to get, okay? But, you know, just imagine just the epic catches in anime form of just players running down the field, one hand catches, juking people breaking ankles just the impact on the line oh my god i feel like nfl please somebody needs please to take some, notes we take just notes, hit me we up. just need a, a dope anime artist to go out there and make this one come to fruition nfl hop on it i don't see you know what whoever did it for the chargers hire that guy okay because he gets it he gets it whoever does their social for the chargers i feel like that was a really good video i'm yep. trying to think come up with the storyline made you watch right more now. football me? Yeah, that little anime video. I oh, yeah, I watched started. that video a couple times. I'm yep. trying to think. Okay, Auto let's, football. you know what? I'm going to paint a picture. All right? Okay, so this is this is the anime plot line. We okay. have our young protagonist, all mm. right? Our young six foot six tech tone on the side of OTK. Ooh. Okay, right? He's okay. sitting there in his football classroom all, right. all the way on the side towards the window, the second the second desk from the mm -hmm. back, and he Don't looks call him up. DeAndre. Yeah, he looks up from his notebook and then just like from the corner of his eye he mm -hmm. just sees this object mm. hurling towards him and he's like what is that gets closer gets closer gets bigger it's on fire it's a football but not just any football oh. the cosmic football as it rains down from the oh it's a cat but, but how he catches it oh, has it's to a be cat it's, it's a cool cat, cat. It's a battle of cats. It's three cats. It's another oh, it's cat. Still, it's still the same cat. Everyone's just pulling their cats. Oh! They are having a bonding moment over there in OTK. That's Joe and Tech Tone there. Oh my God, bringing out their cats. You know what? Well, check this out. We, we saw Tech Tone's cat. We saw Joe's cat. But where's Eric's cat? Can we find out for a second? 
Anyone got the intel? I don't know, but what we do have is an interview with Eric Kendrick. So let's go ahead and Eric, take a look. Eric, cat? He probably don't like you. My name is Eric Kendricks. Uh, I play linebacker for Minnesota Vikings. I'm originally from California. Uh, my first favorite video game was um, like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro. Sure. Um, oh yeah. Those are just classics for sure. Yeah, I, I would like to play like Ratchet and Clank or something like right now. That would be fun. I think that I would, I would enjoy that thoroughly. Um, nowadays, I, I mainly just play uh, a lot of FIFA. If I do play, um, that's that's I, I really enjoy uh, going international and watching soccer games as well. So I think that it's just it's just a good escape for me. If I can only play one video game for the rest of my life, <laughs> I almost named two, uh, but I would say I would say FIFA for sure. <laughs> I feel like when I first started uh, playing Fortnite, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've, I, I play Fortnite, but I was never like the best out of all my friends. But I think that when um, I finally like uh, helped clutch a victory for everybody, I think that was like my my proudest uh, moment, you know, as, as a squad. You know, I was usually uh, pulling everybody, pulling everybody behind, you know, or holding everybody back. But that was probably one of my greater moments. Man, so many uh, fun cre create uh, moments there that we're seeing epic gaming moments from NFL players. And, you know, that kind of got me thinking. Havali, do you have any epic gaming moments that you just can vividly remember, you know, when, when, when maybe you competed on a league Ooh. or any competitive epic wins in your life? One of my favorite moments was actually I was playing a League of Legends clash game. So it's mm. basically when five of your friends get together and mm -hmm. compete in kind of just like an internal League of Legends tournament. They just kind of have like internal matchmaking uh, within customs. the client. It's fun. No, it's not customs. Oh. It's like actually kind of like a tournament system that they have through the client. It's fun. Oh, okay. Uh, you get matched with people who are similar to your ranking. So I'm playing a game and I find out halfway through that my buddy, our good buddy, Captain Flowers, is actually <laughs> spectating and casting the games. Okay. For people who aren't familiar with Captain Flowers, he is without a doubt Zero arguments against it. The best play-by-play -play caster in all of esports, and I will fight people. I will throw hands to defend that statement. Um, so, anyways, I found out, find out he's casting my game, and I'm playing as Lux, who is kind of like spell caster, right? And in League of Legends, there is this thing, this fabled event called a pentakill. All mm, right, and that's fabled. when you kill all five people within like a the good same amount of time, time. A good yeah, amount of time. Kind of. Yeah. it has to be back to back to yep. back so we're fighting around this main objective of dragon mm -hmm. and i am stuck with dead weights on my team mm. but that's okay because lux is my girl all right okay. she's my girl you get a few so snares okay I, i'm hitting some snares i'm hitting mm -hmm. some like massive aoe damage okay boom one kill down boom double kill triple Quadra kill. The dragon has started. Everyone else is down. My entire team is down. It's me and this Teemo, this tiny squirrel looking thing. Mushrooms everywhere. Little mushroom Toxic. thing. Toxic team. So he's throwing cues. He's trying to blind me uh -huh. with poison darts. I can't auto attack him anymore. I miss my first snare. I'm like, oh my god. My ult is two seconds away from cooldown. I'm slowly ticking down for my health. I'm running away from Teemo. I throw my shield out. I flash forward to catch the shield uh, in the bounce back. I I turn around, I ult, I take down the Teemo, that's the pentakill, and then I listen well, back. And there's more? I go to Captain Flowers' uh -huh. stream. I go to his stream. He better gas you. He is screaming. He says, Classic the Flowers. Pet to kill. I want to say blood. And then I get it, and he just screams. Mm. And that was my favorite moment. I got to find this clip. My favorite moment. I got to find that clip. It's out a great, there. It's oh a great clip. Oh my God. That sounds epic, clip. especially for Lux, too. You know? Who's Lux? You playing mid lane Lux? No, support luck. Support luck. So here's the thing. I wasn't sure, around for support luck. Sure, I go bot lane in the support position, mm -hmm. but let's be real. We all know who the real carry is bot lane. <laughs> uh, the real carry bot lane. Actually, I don't know the real carry nowadays, but it's me. It's support. It's support. It's me. And it's you. It's Avali. It's always. Hey, that's me. what we're getting at. All right. That was great. That was what about epic. you. 
Oh, me? Uh, you asked the question. I did ask the question, right? Uh, epic moment for me, never recorded, you know, years ago, uh, 2007 in Orlando, loser's bracket, final round, Fuel Depot, Gears of War. It's probably about 2-2. Two, two, and I clutch up an epic 1v3 coming out the front door, shoddy kill to the boom shot, long range kill into a beautiful like snipe headshot. Oh my mm. God. Had the whole whole squad, it's like a picture of it. And they're just all looking like they're yelling at me maliciously, but they're just really cheering for me. And I'm just kind of like huddled up over here, but everybody in the loser's bracket just going crazy, watching over our shoulders. You know, good times, you know, you, you surviving in a tournament from the, from the lower bracket. Oh my God, talk about living. Wait, you used to play professionally? Yeah, yeah, I was a pro. I could never tell based on your Madden performance last week, uh, two yeah. weeks ago. You know what? Uh, I last time I played Madden was before I was a professional gamer, so it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Madden 06. <laughs> oh no. Oh uh, man. We are currently experiencing a slight delay trying to get all of our players into the Fortnite lobby, which mm -hmm. is why we're going to continue to talk about anime and random video well, game also, moments. Also, too, chat. We had asked you a question. I said if we had to come up what an epic anime name for a football anime. I think someone in the chat said I Shield 21. And I'm like, no way you said I Shield 21. No, then, that's that's a manga. Is it? Yeah. Is it or it's, or it's an anime. For football? For football, yeah. Why do they call it I Shield? Because the visors? Oh, no way. That, come on. That's really? my guess. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. This is this is the title for a football anime. Hear me out. Hear me out. Ready? Hike ooh. <laughs> I get yeah, proud of that. Yeah, that yeah. Okay, that was actually that was actually hilarious. All right, uh, it comes naturally. Yeah, it it does. You know, you know, it, but it had to be something like sore or um, just get burnout syndromes to sing mm. the opening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Engage. Well, not engage. I don't know what we'd come up with. It. You know, it, it'd be something in. Japanese lettering, but nonetheless. No, I mean, I feel like a lot of stuff is just in English now. Spy Family, Chainsaw True. Man. True. Uh, I just Bob can't. Psycho. Mm -mm. Sidelines. Sidelines. I like sidelines. Yard. I feel like that's what. Because Japan will always choose something crazy. I feel. Damn you, chat. Damn you. Don't don't be mean to my chat. I mean to chat. You don't know? be mean to my but, chat. But granted, you know, you spent more time with chat, you know, as of lately than I have. I've kind of neglected chat. Well, actually, I've been in the chat. Me and chat been kicking it for the weeks that I wasn't here. You know, we were all hanging out out there doing our thing and stuff. Okay, you know. All right, we're looking at some highlights right now. We see Tecton. He's dancing. He's breaking it down. Up, down, up, down. Six foot six, two hundred and fifty pounds. Pure OTK adrenaline. That's Is that? Tecto. Wait, does Tectone have, I can't tell if that was another computer or if that was uh, the Japanese arcade machine. It's called Jubeat, mm -hmm. where it's basically like an array of um, 16 boxes and they light up and mm -hmm. you tap them all. And that kind of looked like I've what was in his- I've never seen that. Is that for like hand eye coordination? I, Rich, does he have that machine in his house? Because I would like to visit. Sounds like an OTK branded machine. Oh, and actually, we are already in the game. Here we go. We're taking the perspective of Tectone right now. Looks like trying to take down D Jefe as well as Hot Pockets. Boom! That's a double. That's going to look like a first round win for Team OTK off the back of Tectone. And yeah, I agree with you. That was our round number one OTK coming out on top, and we'll see what they're going to be playing up into. But Tectone, three kills. They're going to load up here into our second round of our 3v3 battle. And I did see a little building there, so. All right, they're gonna kick this one off. Starting right across from each other. You gotta be careful on these spawns here. Maybe even a few walls to start. Get yourself some safety. But it's a firefight, and it's gonna be BTMC getting that first down, coming in for the cleanup. Ooh, but immediately taken out by Tecton with that shotgun. Tecton being taken very low, and Hot Pockets actually finding that kill. Hot Pockets going for the full elimination. Tectone trying to be sneaky around those pillars, but actually going to save his teammate's life there. Yes, he is. Going to come out with that quick revive. But you see towards the background, um, I think that is going to be, it could be CJ Mosley back there. D Hefe needs to get one of these revives out here. Multiple players down, and I think they are crawling towards each other. But here's Tectone. He says, ain't no more revives, but Tectone goes down right away. 
whole lot of 35. OTK That's taking Joe. another win for the squad, and that was teamwork all around. Before we saw Tectone really picking up a lot of those kills, but uh, again, that was Joe picking up two of those kills as well. Yeah, all right. So, hey, Joe, he's getting some kills here as well on the board. Helmet Tectone. And we, we heard in Joe's interview, he said that he got some experience here in Fortnite. BT going down right away. Hot Pockets trying to save his teammate, but that's Tectone coming out with a double kill. Tectone and the shoddy looks like Hefe right there. Going to be taken very low. Eliminated from Tectone once again. You could see how excited he is on his screen. And let's go ahead and listen in on the excitement right now for OTK. Oh, what they are oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. That's too easy. You should just let him kill us. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 33 a couple times. Yep. Pushing around, peeking on the corner. Oh, oh they're being weird. They're being weird. I can't move. Run. I can't move. Run. Yeah. Come on, peek your head. Peek your head. Peek your head. Yep. 33. 33. Show me where I'm coming. Show me where I'm coming. I'm ready. I'm hitting minis. Yep, I'm with you. And move over back. I, I did not see him. Right. Did you knock one yet or no? I knocked one, but. Uh, they're healing. Knocked one? I was just gonna get air quick, but you. No, can... he's right here. There's one left, there's one left, there's one left. Oh. Fuck it. He's going for rest. If you sprint right now, you'll get him. Run towards the base, run towards the wood base. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's my <laughs> team. <laughs> quick headshot. I was about to quick headshot. I can't move forward. And there you go. It's going to be OTK coming out on top with a quick 4-0 victory. Even though at the end, it got really close. And I thought Hot Pockets was about to come out with a fresh play, but just couldn't get the last and final kill to close that one out. Also, Tectone almost came away with a triple. Almost, but... I mean, he had the triple in the, the first round, he ended did. up picking I... up the win, as you said. Clean sweep 4-0 for OTK, making the rain look pretty freaking weak after yeah. they've been dominant week after week after week, but I think OTK might just be their kryptonite. It, they, they, they just might be, especially seeing them right there in Fortnite, and you even heard the comms, okay? Like, yo, we should give them a kill. Come on, give them a kill. Let's be nice about it. Like, no mercy whatsoever. And so OTK, uh, a, a quick victory coming out of them. So Tectone, those 4 a.m. game sessions on Fortnite, he's definitely been playing with some friends, okay? We can um, confirm that one. Also, Joe, he probably has some of his best moments as we heard in an interview in Fortnite as well because he has some solid kills across the board. So, OTK, they go up another point. They stay in what? I want to say that puts them in first place or it keeps them in first place. I'm not to allowed to do math live mm -hmm. on camera anymore. I've made too many mistakes. Mm, that is in her contract. I saw it. It's in the fine print. I did yeah. not do well in elementary school math. Sometimes you say the wrong numbers on the stream and you just got to pay people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> oops, there's a uh, 10 gifted subs into the chat. That yep. is on me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, Tech tone in the squad really coming away with it. We knew as soon as we heard Joe in his pregame interview mm -hmm. saying, like, my favorite game, probably Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is what he had said. And who didn't grow up in, like, the Xbox lobbies of Modern Warfare oh 2? Oh, my God. You know, and, oh. and especially even with the new Kai dropping, it, it yeah. has a lot of us feeling like we're playing a classic Call of like Like one of those classic Call of Duties that we grew up grinding all day long. The last few days, every other chance I've had, well, every main chance that I've had, I've been playing me a little bit of my, uh, Modern Warfare 2. I gotta pick Level, it up. Leveling up my guns and stuff. You know, are you good at FPS games? <laughs> That's a very loaded it's okay. question. okay. You don't, you don't have to answer Okay, that. listen. Uh, F 
It's because they jump scare me, all right? So I'm out here okay. playing Valorant. I'm out here playing Valorant. Someone comes around a corner that I'm trying to like peek and I scream. My first instinct is to scream rather than headshot. To shoot, yeah. Yeah. Because you're, it's like it's like you're, you're thinking in your head, is he going to be here? Am I expecting him? And then they kind of like show up. And so like you're, you're processing information at first and then you're trying to shoot second. The only scary game mm. that I have thrived in has been Resident Evil 8. Ooh, I've, I've, ne I've never played. I think the only Resident Evils I played were in the movie theaters. Real? Yep. You've never touched a the single arcade. Yep, the arcade Resident Evils. I played a lot of those, but I haven't played like a console version of Resident Evil. You have to play Village. That's the yeah. one with Lady D. Is that the one with all the creepy dolls? Lady Dimitrescu. The dolls? Is that it has one? the dolls. I saw. I saw a lot of people playing that dolls over the Halloween. It's not as scary uh -huh. as like I was still able to play through that moment. Yeah. But you have to play through for Lady D. Mm, interesting. That's okay. the super tall vampire mommy, uh -huh. white dress, big black rim, brimmed, rimmed, brimmed hat. Okay, okay. Uh, I've with seen like pictures the of her. Yep. Yeah, fantastic. Is she like a a, a bet, like a, a super strong boss you got to take down? Mm. No spoilers, no but spoilers she is whatsoever. fantastic. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to check out some Resident Evil chat. Y'all been playing it out there? What kind of spooky games have you been playing for the season? As you know, Halloween just went past. Oh man, you know we we should have dressed up as each other for this show. We didn't, how, that, one, that didn't age well, okay? We should have dressed up as our, our host for Halloween. I could have dressed up as Rich today. Or you could have dressed up as Rich. I don't know if I have a good enough collection of outfits to too. match uh -huh. Rich because like he's got like the matching You wore your Halloween short. costume. My Halloween costume, do you know what I was for Halloween? I saw that beaver. I, was, I wasn't a beaver, I was a Bidoof. B oh, is that the Pokemon Badoo? Badoo. Here, yeah, yeah, with the, with the I'm big teeth. Yeah, picture. I didn't, Badoof. I didn't, I, you know what? I did not put those Dude, two together. I but need I know it looked familiar. Someone to put some dang respect on Badoo. You should have seen name. his costume, yeah. Let me let me find it. Okay. Okay, so this is Badoo. <laughs> <laughs> that was her Halloween costume. That's Badoof. First she breaks the internet with her first Halloween costume, and then she shows up to the party with that. Oh, don't make me start talking about Bayonetta right now, man. Nah, we can't. Don't show Bayonetta this stream, okay? <laughs> but, but deal with it. <laughs> Our lovely cast. Wait, 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 wait. We have, to, we have to the side by side. Badoof. Mm -hmm. Badeal. Badeal. Badeal or Badoof? Chat, but deal. Go Badoof that deal. All right? <laughs> Don't act. I'm watching y'all. They know. They know. They know. They, they already know. Okay. What did, what did you go as for Halloween? I didn't I didn't dress up. I went as Guy Blaze. You didn't dress up for Halloween? I was working. <laughs> what were you doing on Halloween? What what were you working on? I was working. I was raising money for the kids. Oh. Yeah. My son dressed up as a skeleton though. Oh yeah, you didn't yeah, dress yeah. up as like a larger skeleton? I'm you know, I'm pretty much skin and bones right now, so. You know, I'm like a walking skeleton. Oh, yeah. that's cute. Did I you, need calories. Did you take your son trick or treating? Uh, yo, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, he went trick or treating. We went trick or treating, and it's crazy that these houses are giving out like huge pieces of candy. Like I'm talking about value packs of candy, like bags of them. Like they okay. went, like they went shopping at Costco, and they're giving these kids hundred bags of candy each. Okay, like he brought back so much, it wasn't even funny, and I took half. <laughs> that's the tax. You took half? Paying uh, paying, paying those bills. That's the tax. I took half, all right? It's the candy tax. It is, all right? But let's continue on with the show, and we're going to toss it down to Rich as he's going to be gathering some information. That's right. Uh, we are going to get an opportunity to talk to players from both of the teams. We got Eric Kendricks, who's playing with OTK today, and CJ Mosley, who's going to be playing for the rain. We now have our first game in the rearview mirror. And we'll start with you, Eric. How, how are you feeling uh, about Fortnite now that it's in the rearview mirror? I'm feeling good, you know, victorious. But uh, I didn't really contribute much, you know. I feel like we got dropped in there. The first game, I thought we were just in the waiting lobby. I'm over here chopping things and bodies are flying, you know, so. Who do you feel though. like, uh, who, who do you feel like did stay, uh, like just really come up clutch for your team? Hey, Joe came up clutch a few times. He was ready to go. Yeah, before we even started, Joe said he did have some experience in Fortnite, so we're clearly seeing that. But CJ, when we're looking at the next game, we're going to have to jump into Fall Guys. Do you have any experience playing the game? I have a little experience. Um, I've only played the Hexagon one one time, so we're going to see how it goes. Every man every man for himself. I just know that I got to jump on all the, all the Hexagons and try to knock everybody off. <laughs> 
Good news for you, though. We are playing the Hexagon game, so you're going to be in a familiar area there. And, uh, you know, I know Tectone has played a lot of Fall Guys on the side of OTK, so that's going to be something that, that definitely does come up. But let's talk, CJ, a little bit how it, it feels for the rain. Is your team gelling well? I feel we are. Um, like Kendra said, we, we just jumped in at Fortnite Battle and stuff just happened. People were stuck, was couldn't fast. move around. Yeah. I think we might have put one person on our own team. So it was a, it was a lot going on. <laughs> Yeah, well, now we're we're about to jump into the next one. Thank both of you very much for the time. We're going to be switching up the game, and we are going to see who comes out on top. Is it going to be OTK or the rain? If you're just tuning in right now, this is very much the battle of the best teams. We might have a new first place team, at least tied for first place, after this next game. I think we might, all right? The standings are getting tight here in our final few weeks of Tuesday Night Gaming before we head on over towards those, those uh, playoffs. So an important game of Fall Guys for the rain and OTK. We'll see how those standings are gonna end up shifting, but a little bit of Fall Guys experience there for CJ Mosley. And we also got some info on our Fortnite series as well. They said that first drop, they were like, what the heck is going on? We chopping trees, shooting the sky. Well, that just shows that you gotta be ready for anything. Just say that you don't know how to play Fortnite, you know, just say it out <laughs> loud. No one's gonna be angry at you. The fans of the rain might be a little angry at you, mm -hmm. but that's okay. We can let it slide because yes, the CJ was saying if it's hexagon mm -hmm. that they're playing when we come into fall guys he's the one who's going to be taking the dub and luckily our entire fall guys round which is a best of three two round type situation mm -hmm. is all hexagon themed we have hexa terrestrial we have the standard hexagon stage as well as hexa go round so there are hexes everywhere yeah, and chat, you know, uh, you better be putting a hex on a squad in which you don't want to win here because we're about to be hopping into Fall Guys soon. Uh, and so when it comes down to, uh, you know, Fall Guys hexagonal, have you ever played? Have you, have you, you know, dabbled in a little bit at all? Yeah. Of yeah. course I've played Fall Guys. Oh, we, we, me and you got to play a little bit, okay? I now, don't... teach me, and, 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 you know, teach me your strategies, all right? But we have seen some awesome strategies on this show before. Let's take a look at some of our past uh, hexagonal moments. Let's then maybe start worrying about that. All right. Oh. Oh, I know what's happening. We don't have the right remote. Wait, were you guys on play on different screens? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's an R on the back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, that was important information. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what happened. Like, why did you just run hey, off the side? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> All right, Kaya. All right, good luck. Good luck, Kaya. You got this. Oh, you gotta make oh, sure you gotta you're running move around, around as well. Gotta move around, move around. There you go. Come on. Gotta move around, don't fall into the grips. There you go. Th you won. Yes. You did it, Kaya. Good job, Kaya. There we go. Yay. Kaya, way to win. Okay, now you wanna stay on the right? You wanna stay on the right side? It's All right, there right you go. Possible. Jonathan, I think this is the furthest you've made it so far. You got this. All right, this one is, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. The you one big win. Jump, jump in the middle over here to get on. You have to, you have to time it really. Oh, you can't, you have, you have to go around. You have to go around. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. I didn't realize you could jump back up there like yep, that. Yep. Oh, jeez. Jump straight, so this jump part straight. just plays with your yep. head. They're not actually spinning. So you can just kind of, yeah, All right, there you awesome, go. Awesome. Okay. Now try to go diagonal. Alright, you got this. Yep. And then right there you go. Right oh my gosh. Okay, this is the hard one. You gotta, you gotta feel this out. Jonathan, you might one pull through. Time. Okay, I see what you did. Okay. There we go. Oh! oh. No, no, stay, stay, stay. Okay, stay. <laughs> oh, you got this, you got this. Up. No, 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 okay, oh good, my good, good, gosh, good. that was so good. close. Oh no, I died. Oh no. Right. Oh no. Someone look at me, what am I supposed to do? 
go, 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 go. Just go for it. Just go Whoa. for it. Daddy. Oh my gosh. Daddy. Hold on, Kai. Oh, go. oh my gosh. This is nerve wracking. All right, down to the wire. All right. Yep, yep, yep. And the timer just started. Right. You did it though. There we go. With six seconds to spare. All right. Oh my that gosh. That was hard. Okay, that was a tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely awesome. That's so cute. Last week, we had uh, our NFL players come through with their kids, and um, they had a great Halloween bash there, had some fun, played some games, and you saw some Fall Guys right there. Kai coming up clutch with a big win in the end. And um, you love